What is up, everybody? It's the Brew Bread Podcast, episode 57. number 57. <laughs> it didn't say nowhere there. No, it didn't. This I just time. put episode. This, this, I didn't put this, yeah. <laughs> episode 57. Uh, rest in peace to the queen. For what? Do you know how much... I'm gonna pull this up. Yo, bro, you wanna... No, 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 no. Let me say this while you pull this up. I it's already pulled up. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Have this over by you. Tell about rest in peace. Have have it over this kind of just kind of like in this vicinity, just so it's right. All right. Okay. Um. Okay. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I I don't wasn't. I've never seen. I don't know if anybody else. I I never seen any a lot of group of people be so happy at somebody's death before, uh, and I I feel like more people were, more people were sad during Jeffrey Epstein's death, <laughs> than people, <laughs> than people are sad during Queen Elizabeth's death. Because oh. a lot of people got sad because they were like, damn, we're not gonna find out. Yeah. So, but Queen Elizabeth's death was. Do they even say um, how she died? I mean, I know she's like a million. Let's, let me see. What? I'm just... <laughs> the, the clock stopped working. <laughs> Big Ben stopped ticking. Let's see. No, uh, that wasn't a good one because it's a clock tower. Big Ben. Ben O'Clock. Ben. She died peacefully. Nice. <laughs> so I'm guessing in her sleep. You know that type of shit. She probably didn't even die. They're, you know the royal like, family when they said, die in just, their sleep. No, no, no. She just said, "Yo, okay, take me out, take out the frozen body, the younger me that fucking died sixty years ago, and then bring that out, and then I'm gonna die so off this body, uh, and I'm gonna just uh, who's next to uh, who's next to be uh, on who's the next in line? Yeah. Let's see who's and next why? Why they ain't got no king the over there? Like, what's up with the king thing? They have the, I believe. The what happened? Did she have husbands? Like, did she have a king? She needed to have a king know, to be a queen. There's all types of fucked up, bro. Dying um, in your sleep is always funny, even when you're old and at oh, that Oh no, level. yeah. So Prince Charles is the new king now. Prince Her Charles, because she didn't have a daughter. Just the a guy son. that's in um over there. Yeah. Over Wait, what over, guy? The guy that married that black girl. That have black girl. I they have black. I no, it's this dude. Oh. I seen him before somewhere. I, yeah, I never even seen this. Person. He looked like a Prince Charles. He's seventy three. Yo, what? I don't. You know what? I don't what? understand. He's a prince, Bro, young prince. I don't young understand. Prince. What is the point of putting all these people in is power he the that only prince? have like 20, 30 years is, left? He's in the, the tank. king. Now, right? I don't get it. He's even how, the president how, how of the U.S. He? Why do but you gotta be that old to be a president? Like no, but the thing is, you you gotta have some amount of experience. That's what they're saying. I mean, I believe it's too old. That's old. Yeah, that's too 50, much it should be like 50 is yeah. good. Nah, 73. All right. But like, is is that is that like, was he like the oldest prince? Who? Prince Charles. I don't uh-huh. know if any prince reached like 65, 70. You know, who's the oldest prince who, in history? In history. Let's see. Yeah. Prince Charles, right? I think so. Yeah. Killing it. Setting records. Yeah. And he the, the and he the oldest king. Who's the oldest king? Who's the oldest king in history? Louis the seventy two. Yeah. Yeah. If he makes it, wait, wait. How old is Prince Charles again? Seventy three. Seventy three. Yeah, so he made it. Oldest. Pr- Y'all say records. Yo, my son came in the game strong, bro. Yo. He came in the game. Yo, bro. That's what it says when you wait for opportunity. <laughs> Wait, 73 years. Longest living king, longest living. And what did the queen die at? Sem- uh, 73? Nah, <laughs> Everybody just said, I mean, wait, how is her brother the same age as her? I think she was. 70? I think she was 70. How's she the queen when the older brother is the prince? This shit all fucked up. Oh, 96. 96. That's crazy. I was like, damn, she's been 70 for a minute too, right? <laughs> like an extra 30 years or something. She probably died at 100. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not going to put this on the screen, but I'm going to just show you. What? Why? What is that going to do? 
Bro, it just happens to old people's skin. Nah, that's, no. And, and, cap. and that's an OD. Cap, fo- that's an OD cleaned up picture of her too. All right. So what did you want to tell me here? So I'm saying that you were like, "Oh, rest in peace." No, bro. Well, because, I just oh, said, "Bro, oh, it's because I said rest in peace." They've done oh, that. The queen listen. died. I guess I don't even. And somebody yeah. that I know from over there was I was talking. And you about lived, it. and you and you I gave saw- the queen money. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Oh, I did. For school. <laughs> you went and studied for under the queen. Oh, how right thou, at... how thou spite thy queen. She didn't give me the opportunity in the U.S. Didn't. You know you had to go in the airport and bow to her picture, nigga, nah, and go in. I, Stop. Nah, the U.S. had Well, she there. used to have a picture she... of the queen in her dorm. Oh, yeah. They all used to wake up and do, oh, like, yeah. Indian prayers around it. Like, Basically, I'm not going to go into this, but... There's years upon years upon years of oppression of black people in Britain, and it's like it never stopped. To be honest, so and you gonna blame it on the last queen? No, the whole the whole entire family. They, they yeah yeah they yeah. Kept, you know, doesn't matter whoever's up next. And then I saw this shit. This is funny. This is funny. I got, I don't know if you've seen it from um this dude that one with the loud mouth that be, whoa, oh I was like did we get blocked? <laughs> Wait. I don't know if it's in this slide. Well, what is this? Ah. Uh, all the British people that are talking about, oh, Americans are so insensitive. How could you go online and, and make jokes about our beloved queen that just passed away? The thing you need to understand about Americans, Brits, is that we don't give a fuck about people in high-powered positions, okay? Do you see the jokes that we make about Biden? <laughs> about Trump, we be waiting for them to get JFK. This, this, this is not this is not an unknown thing. We don't care about people in high positions. I'll be telling my boss whenever he get a little bit too yappy with me, yo, take your fifteen, bro, step outside. Like when it comes to high power positions, we don't give a damn. Okay, we don't. And we know that y'all don't got the whole well, freedom. But wait, wait, I don't even know who was really defending the queen, though. I don't know if anybody was really defending the queen. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Even though somebody that I know on that side was like, "Yo, they're like the Kim Kardashian family of the of the royal, no, the royal of course, Kim Kardashian." Of course, but like, basically. I mean, I don't know if anybody really. Um, I think I think even everybody. I don't think anybody really likes the Queen over there in the UK. Yeah. I mean, they kind of, uh, you know, they they. I think it was pretty established. They've been the head honcho family that's been just Yo, collecting. Yo, and what's good? And what's good? <laughs> Why he got that face on? It was drinking water. Oh. You bo- you, there was water over there. Oh, it was? Okay. Yeah, like the stank you, uh, you, like, you bothered him when you when he was drinking water. So, 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 um, shit. What was I gonna say? The people over there, uh, Queen. They don't care about her. They care about her death. I don't know if you was gonna say. Something. Oh, I was gonna say, what is it with the Latino and Hispanic community that cares so much? About what happens in the UK. Like, I don't know if you... But the older no, folks that... I don't that, know what you're talking about. Bro, the older folk, The older Hispanic folks that I know, they were like, oh my goodness, so sad the queen died. And I'm like, what is oh, she... Oh, yeah. No, you know what it is? is because that's, I guess, they, they... I don't know if they... Like, a lot of people used to like, what is that? The, the Prince Diana. Mm. You know? And Princess I... Prince Diana, yeah. They killed her. Because she yeah. was actually trying to do good in the family. They were like, they murked her. Yeah, but, like, the older generation got to think about the queen where, like, my dad was even watching videos of the queen. Like, like, uh, like, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. Continue with your thing. Um, I mean, I had no thoughts on what we were saying anymore, so. No? What happened? Oh, I saw some shit here. What is that? What is that? A rocha. <gasps> on my bag? Oh, disgusting. All right, anyways, so, yeah, what you were saying? Uh, that your dad was watching? Oh, yeah, my dad was watching a video of, like, uh, one of, like, a military general meeting the queen. Like, of Pakistan. That he? No, no, a military general. Meeting? The, Why? The queen. Why? Just, I don't know. It was like a whole old video. Like, it felt like a, they had old Disney Channel theme music playing in the background yeah. and... All that type of stuff. Mm-mm. So, I don't know. All right, on to the next one. Um, let's see what we got here. 
Um, did you did you know that thing about like? Did we ever talk about Adam Twenty Two being be his last name being like Grand Mason? No. There was a guy who made a video on like saying something like Adam Twenty Two is part of uh, uh the, the Freemasons. The well, he he's been in Bill Clinton's home. Yeah, he's been in Bill Clinton's home. His dad got pardoned by Bill Clinton. Um, pardoned for what? What did he do? Uh, it was like like one of those like embezzlements, like oh. like uh stock fraud type, some something with that like type of shit. Like interesting. But yeah, and like it like yeah, his name, his last name is Grand Mason. Yeah, it was like a old video like somebody made. Like look look it up, look it up. Like uh, we'll cut we'll cut it out. We'll cut it out of it. Yeah. Like we'll just get you to like kind of get the hang of it, and then we'll cut it out. Skip it. Definitely a career changing interview. Adam 22 really is. Yeah. First off, we must talk about Adam 22's real name, as it helps a lot with revealing who he really is. Adam 22's real name is Adam John Grand Mason. Just off the last name alone, you should already know something is off. As it turns out, the Grand Mason family is very well connected with some very important people. See, Adam 22's father, whose name is Philip J. Grand Mason, actually worked for Bill Clinton. Adam's father and Bill Clinton were very good friends, with Adam even attending parties and events hosted by the Clinton Whoa. family. Adam's father was so close to Bill Clinton that Bill even pardoned Adam's father for his felony fraud charges that he was facing. Adam even admits his connection to the Clintons in an interview he did. The, uh, the your Wikipedia, it says that your, your father was really good friends with Bill Clinton. He was. Wow. Yeah. It's interesting. The whole thing. My dad was like a Democrat... Uh, working on local campaigns and stuff at that time when I'm in, like, second grade. And so my dad's, like, helping him out and, and was, like, a part of the campaign. Like, we would be going to Bill Clinton events on the weekend when I was a kid and stuff. And I just wonder, like, if it was, like, to a point where, uh, I, like, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's, like, a quinky dink, but, like, it was, like, like a lot of, like, the music industry kind of, like, stays away from Adam, too, because he had, like, a... An incident happened that made companies distant, distant from him and stuff like that. Like, like it was like some charges from a girl and stuff like that. Um. Like, but like, and then like, and then um, like after that, it was just like they, I don't know. I don't know if the music industry really lets him in. He has to like. He always he seems does, like he's on the outside. Yeah, he's always grinding though. I'll do give yeah. him that. He is always grinding, but like it, it was always uh like a, a theory in my head where it was like I wonder if the government was like. We got to get somebody into the music industry. Like, it was just like, I don't know if the government just did not have enough people in there. Yeah. They were like, you know what? We got to make a branch that, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I was like, maybe I was too high and shit. I was, nah, I I, it, it kind of makes sense. Because that like, immediately once I heard that off this video, I'm like, oh, so he's just a, a plug for them. Kind of. He can yeah. be. I don't know if he is, but he can be. Yeah. Yo, could you put it uh New York, New, uh, uh, what was it like this week's news? Uh, New York news this week, New York news this week, and then there was something about an East Village apartment. I don't know why I wrote East Village apartment on this. Um, um, is it is it is it that 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 robbery was crazy too with the car? You seen that one? Which one? That one, yeah. Yeah, that one was crazy. A car hit another car, and they ran out and took some money out, and the cops oh, invested. But, like, yo, put in uh, East Village Apartments after that. East Village Apartments. You wrote apartments, but, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's the it's the third one, I think. I think it's the third one. Corporations, but no, no, the third, yeah, right there. Corporations buying up uh, apartments and stuff. How would you like to learn how to buy... Like, nah, you don't even have to really watch it. I'll tell you what's going on. So, basically, like, we spoke about this before where, like, the other companies are coming in and mm -hmm. uh, buying, buying out. Like, estate. yeah, so they just, they they buying out the buildings. Yeah. And so they buy all the apartments and then they said, like, I think, like, the tenants have a year to evict. Wow. Yeah, because they're going to raise the rent. You spoke about this. You said the corporate, yeah. like, everything's yeah. just going to be real estate at that yeah. point. Yeah, and then I, I, this, like, I just feel like it, it's almost like... It's like it's gonna like it's gonna happen like where like they're gonna like how how much more can they raise the rent like even even like let's say if you live in a house right like your rent's probably gonna be like three to thirty five 
Mm-hmm. And then that's not that's that's just the rent, and then you got utilities on top of that, and then let's say it's like two more racks on top. It's of just that not like honestly. It's five, not gonna work because five racks. There's not. There's crib. only a certain amount of people are willing to Yo, pay for it, a box. If you like, had to draw five racks a month on expenses, how much do you have to really make? You have to make like like at least six to seven racks a month. Yeah. And six to seven racks a month. Uh, what is that six? Uh, Six times six times twelve, six. What are you good at multiplication? Six seventy two. Seventy two. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta make like seventy. Is that seventy two thousand? Yeah. Yeah. Seventy two thousand. Just no. No, it's not. You can't live off of that because then, then. Oh wait, six six times seventy two, and then nah, you wait. Okay. That would what be is crazy. It? Six, just to make sure. Six times uh twelve. Seventy two, right? So. That's seventy two thousand. That That's not enough. No, but then and then and then five and then you would only be living off one thousand per crazy. month because it'd be five five thousand for expenses. That would be crazy, man. That's just seventy. That's baseline. That's baseline. So yeah, the only way it would work is if it's like two people made seventy two thousand together. Yeah, which is a lot. There would no debt, with nothing. Like, that would be... Yo, that's crazy. There's only, like, a few certain people that can live like that. Like, yeah. not everybody can live like that. And it's it's looking really hectic for for how the New York fucking... They're just trying to push everybody out and then get all the rich people here. They're trying yeah. to... They're literally... Yeah. I mean, it's, it's very obvious. They're really just yeah. trying to push everybody out. Yeah. Everybody get the fuck out and figure do, it out. Do you know which is the... What place consumes the most amount of cannabis in the world? No. Look this up. I'm guessing that it's New York City. New York City consumes the most cannabis in the world. I had a feeling about this. Now let's check this out. It doesn't say the name. It's the top 10 countries that can... It just says countries, so it's not gonna say no. It's not gonna say cities. No, no, no. Ah, uh, damn. All right, no, no, no. I just put cities in America then. Yeah. Yeah, New, New York, York City. Click that picture. Click that picture. Damn, that is. <laughs> damn, wow. Man. The cities with the highest consumption. Karachi. Let's go! <laughs> Karachi's on the second number! <laughs> yay, yay! Yo, when I tell you, it's like New York over there, yeah. bro. It's really like New York, yo. That's, That's crazy. crazy. That's what I'm telling you. So New York consumes whatever, 77.44%. I don't even know how. What is this? Like, what is this percentage? Like, mm-hmm. oh, metric tons. Metric oh, tons, metric your tons. metric ton. How many pounds is that? Seventy-seven metric tons, seventy-eight. Just rounded out seventy-eight metric tons of pounds. LBS or something. Uh, Seventeen thousand. No, one hundred and seventy-one thousand nine hundred and sixty-one pounds. That's crazy. And then what's Pakistan at? Like 41. Karachi, forty-one. Let's put forty-two. Yeah. Oh my God! Nine hundred and twenty-five thousand. No, it's ninety-two thousand five hundred ninety-four point twenty. Ninety-two thousand. Oh, it's ninety-two thousand. Damn, big difference mm-hmm. too. That shit is crazy. They jumped like double. Yeah, well, yeah, because yeah, that's crazy, bro. Yeah. Karachi, bro. Besides New York, every other place, like how Chicago have less weed. Than the third world that, that that have weed illegal. Like Cairo, Cairo has more. Like, I don't even, that's crazy, bro. Mm-hmm. See, that's, that's the wild part. Everybody's trying to hop in New York. Yo, wait till they make it legal in Karachi, bro. Wait yeah. till, oh my God, bro. It's so, that religious, the mosque people are really holding it back. But if, yeah. they, if they made it legal... Yo, bro, this is this is what I'm saying, though. This is the hidden secret that Karachi does not know about. Like, they're sitting on a gold mine right there. Afghanistan is right there. 
Puerta is right there. Like, all these spots that have the best weed and all the genetics came out yeah. from there. Everything. Like, like, I feel like money talks and at some point they're gonna legalize it. They have it. to. It's crazy. It's, it's what... I feel like money talks, right? Like, let's... Forget the medicine and all of this doing, and no, but they could free also, the people. They could also be... They. I'm pretty sure they've thought about it and I'm pretty sure they're strategizing it because you know the U.S. is going to try to F it up, right? You know, so they're probably doing their own no, thing. No, but the thing is that if U.S. companies are involved, they're not going to do anything. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's like... It's some. I mean, look, I don't... I, I just... Look, I just want the country to legalize it and then the companies are gonna come, and then they're gonna they they're gonna have a lot of money coming in, and I have I have a feeling that it's easily gonna get messed up fast, mm-hmm. unless there's like a strong community over there that's that's kind of working. But then again, man, money buys out a lot of people. Can you look up how how many how many cannabis plants can you have in Colombia? How many cannabis plants can you have in Colombia? Twenty grams. Oh no. What? Twenty um, grams? How many cannabis plants? Plants. What plants? Oh. Oh my god, sorry. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty. Oh. Medical, okay. yes. Isn't that crazy? That's Colombia, bro. Medellin type stuff. Like, you could be in Medellin with 20 plants legally. That's crazy. Yeah, check Dominican Republic. None. <laughs> it just says maricon. <laughs> Illegal. <laughs> Illegal. Uh, sp- put up Spanish country, like Latin, Latin country, Latin American countries that um legalized cannabis. Cannabis. Whoa. Latin American countries legalized cannabis. What are we here looking at? FK? Oh, that, that Argentina. The map. Oh. Argentina? Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador. Really? Ecuador? Where the fuck is it? Falklands, <laughs> Gaya, Guyana, Guyana, Paraguay, Peru. Yo, how many legally play? Okay, open another tab. How many plants? Do you, this is a nice little video. Yeah. But how many plants uh, legally can you have in Guyana? How many? Uh, you gotta put okay, cannabis. Okay, hold plants. on, because let me just. Yeah. The way you say it, I guess. <laughs> how many cannabis okay. plants can you legally have? Guyana. You want to put in Guyana? It doesn't say. Oh. It just says you can have 15 grams on you. That's all. 15 grams. Okay. What else? What, what other country do we have on that list? So we just swipe a name out. Argentina. What the hell is CL? Chile. Chile, Chile got oh you Uruguay, that's crazy. Nine. Nine flowering plants, that's crazy. Yo, good for the Latin American countries, bro. They're finally doing Six it. Six in Uruguay. Yeah. They got the game popping off. Yeah, they said Brazil too, right? Yeah, that's it's that. Brazil. It's that like downer area. Well, Colombia's up on the, up in the middle of. Oh, it, it's illegal to grow in Brazil. Really. No, they just had... Maybe they just didn't update it. They Every, just oh, had... No, they didn't update it. It's still got to be old. That's from 2019. Uh, Check no. something recent, like 2022 is... Yeah. Because they just had competitions and stuff there. And I mean, I'm pretty sure it was legal. Okay. Yeah, it is legal. It doesn't say how much. Oh, okay. I guess it's still gray lines and yeah. stuff over there. But yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. All that's right. Cool. Um, Yeah, that's all I got. So, um, freaking the governor officially not nothing. Bro, crazy, did you see the governor rolling a blunt? What? Did you, you know, put up the video of the governor 
Governor Kathy? Rolling Tobacco. No, no, the mayor. Oh, the mayor. Yeah, you you said governor. I think both of them is the same. Yeah. I confuse it in my head. Mayor Adams Rolling. Cigar. They didn't even put the video. Damn. I have it on my phone, but it's all good, yeah. It was it was on uh it was on Instagram. Basically, um Oh yeah. No, he wasn't smoking it. He was rolling it. Nah, nah, nah don't worry about it. Nah, I just saw a video of they they had it like rolling. What would you say to say about this lady? Oh no, that she said the mask mandate is over. Wow. Yeah. As of September seven, and I was like, yo, ain't nobody was listening to that shit. I saw the I saw the video of the governor. It was the governor. That's the governor. That Kathy. No, no, the mayor. Then. The yeah, mayor. Yeah, yeah. I saw the video of the mayor like. Rolling and uh, one. nah, yeah, they were teaching him how to like pull back tobacco and roll it in the cigar and stuff. And he was doing a bad job at it. And then like, my boy like sent me a DM like he's like we're in such good hands. <laughs> I was like the best some might say. The other day was really funny too. I was at a light and then I saw I looked to my left and there was a guy painting and she noticed like. Oh yeah, I just smelled like, the paint. Yeah, now she was like, yo, there's some guy doing graffiti. And I looked to the left and I'm like, oh shit, there is. And it was like 7.30 or something in Brooklyn. And I was like, ah, good old New York. Reminds me of the Bronx. Freaking, they made a new She-Hulk movie. Yeah, and they I heard tried about to make it like feminist or whatever. And like in the movie, she was like twerking. I need to find no this. Way. Yeah, she was twerking. Nah. And I thought it was a meme. Like, you know how people take yeah. clips off movies and make it a meme? Yeah, but it was really in it the movie. It was really in the movie. Hold up. She Hulk twerking scene. Of course, a black girl, they have her like teach her how to twerk or something. Oh, she's a white girl? Oh, that's Megan the Stallion? So yeah, I was like, yeah, these movies are shit. Hollywood don't know what to do anymore. Yeah, man, the movie, the movie business is, you know what it is, man? Somebody also said this, right? They said, uh, I forgot, it was like a director or somebody who said it up. Uh, that movies are dead because of DVDs too. So <laughs> what? Yeah, uh, since back before you would have DVDs. Yeah. So Pulp Fiction didn't pop off when it first came out. It actually popped off because people buy the DVDs a lot, and then it popped off. Oh. So now when they make movies, they have to just put everything that they know On is DVD. gonna make money into the video, into the movie. Like anything that's gonna work, no matter if it's really good or not, if it's gonna like ah. be somewhat relevant, like they put it squeezed because there's no. Nobody's going to really want to buy the video movie two years from now. You know what I'm saying? And watch it. That's crazy. You know that's a fact, nah, though. Nobody's yeah. going to want to watch She-Hulk like two years from now and then buy it, actually. You know also, what I'm the saying? graphics look horrible. That like computerized graphic they did on the shorty was horrible. The She-Hulk looking giant. and Yeah, it was bad. It's just so out it's of... It's so bad. Do you, do you know who the fo- first Hulk was? Have you ever seen the first ever Hulk? No. Do you remember Lou Ferrigno? No, he sounds familiar. Lou Ferrigno is the guy that was going against Arnold in the... Oh, really? Yeah, go on YouTube. Yeah, oh, go check dope. it out on YouTube. I'll show you how it looked like the... the Look up Lou Ferrigno Hulk. Uh, L-U-E. L-O. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You, you did it right. Yeah, I spelled it wrong. Lou Ferrigno Hulk right oh, there. That's the first thing that popped up. Yeah. Yeah, that's the classics. Because he was so brolic. Back in the day, they, they, they already had... Uh, uh, Arnold doing Conan. Mm. So they put him as for Hulk. It's the closest thing to a giant Hulk man that they found. They just painted him green. <laughs> That's the Hulk. Mm-hmm. These guys are probably like 30 years old in there. Like, they look like they're like 75. 
Yeah, people back in the day. Them cigarettes used to hit different back then. Way better. <laughs> they transfer. Oh. Come here. Piece of shit. But yeah, see. but yeah, that was uh. I don't even know how. Oh yeah, because you showed me the Hulk. Okay, yeah, yeah, that was, that was the Hulk shit. Ah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess they're getting a little weird, and yeah, they have to put everything that they, they, I guess, whatever. It's like, so cringy though. Like, like it brings the same cringe back as in, like, in the, in the, what was it, uh, the Black Panther movie? Yeah. Um. Where it's like, what are those? What are those? That was that really like, I mean. It stuck with me, but in a bad way. In a bad way. Like a bad yeah. taste in your like mouth. Like it ruins most of them. Like it almost makes you not want to recommend it to somebody. It's because they're like... Uh. So to answer your question earlier, retrograde motion is an apparent oh, change yeah. in the movement of the planet through the sky. Oh, why didn't we just bring this up as the first thing? You should have said... I said... Uh, this. You should have brought this up. Ah... Uh, all right, so can you show me? There's got to be a video of something like this going on, like because this is this is some wild stuff. So you're saying the planets are spinning in the opposite direction. What planets are these, and why are they doing that? And do they? You, you said they do this all the time. Um, I'll, I'll read this. Retrograde motion is the apparent change in the movement of the planet through the sky. It is not real in that the planet does not physically start moving backwards in its orbit. It just appears to do because of the relative positions of the planet and Earth and how they are moving around the sun. Normally, the planets move west to east through the stars at night. This is referred to prograde motion. However, periodically, the motion changes and they move from east to west. So they change. But it just seems like they change. But they are moving the other way. No, they're not moving the other way. They just said the motion changes and they move from east no, to no, west. No, no, no. The first thing they said is that, yo, it might look like that. That's yeah, it. but the motion changes though. And so they what? Move. Did, what did they say? The first thing. What was the first thing that they? No, said? I understand. But then they say normally the planets move west to east, and that's prograde motion. But periodically they change from e and move east to west, so the other way. So they go around. So is they're there changing gotta, is, direction. Can you see if YouTube has a video of this, like the planet spinning the other way? Because I just need to see a visual of okay. what you're trying to say. Yeah. I don't even care if it's. Real, would you say is real? They're in spinning this video, the. We look at Earth and Mars and visualize the retrograde motion of planets. The planets revolve around the sun in nice elliptical orbits and look what? at the planets from the perspective of the Earth. Let's switch our view to Earth's perspective. From this perspective, we see that Mars doesn't move in simple elliptical orbit anymore. Let's attach um, again to Mars and trace the path that Mars is following. It is moving differently. Here, we see that the orbit is a complex curve and it has loops in it. Note, this is not the true orbit of Mars and is only seen like this from the perspective of Earth. Let's zoom in one of such loops. So it's like going out of... It does like an extra loop. So technically, the Earth is spinning faster, and that's no, why no, the no, the moon, the Mars slows down. Oh, it does slow down. So really, the retrograde just means it slows down. It's not actually changing. Like, it's not actually going backwards. It just slows yeah. its speed. So that, that it appears backwards because everything else is still going at the same speed. 
That's interesting. See, I learned something a little bit I deeper. I still don't get it, but I kind of get, get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah, but I, it, it, yeah. Like, this is what I don't get. The thing with the stick thing is, like, crazy to me. Like, that's just extra. <laughs> that's wild, dude. In Vedic astrology, all planets go into retrograde at some point or the other. However, the sun and the moon are never in retrograde, and they do not know Sunam and Ketu are perpetually in retrograde because they move in direction opposite to that of other planets. And yo, show me a video. I was talking about this on the blog yesterday. Like, what's the, show me a video of how the moon rotates around the earth. Because it don't move, right? The moon don't rotate, but the earth rotates. Yeah. But it sticks with the earth, or does it go around the earth at all? I don't think it goes around. Does it go around the earth if it's the same side? There are two celestial bodies. I know. What are you talking about? The moon is in front of the sun? The moon's got to be behind the sun. No, there was a guy who had a... Uh, whatever, play this. We'll see if this was a good... If this is not a good one, I got the other one that's behind it. Around its axis, and revolution as the movement of the moon around the earth. Now, the unique characteristic of the moon is that it rotates once around its axis in exactly the same time it revolves around the earth. Wait, so the moon does spin. It does spin, I guess. It does yeah. spin. Who Bro, they was telling me that, yo, you can't go to the dark side of the moon because, cause, yo, like, it's so cold, it's going to freeze. I'm like, yo, how cold is it going to really be, bro? It's right, it's like it gets heated by yeah, the sun already. Right. Like, the other side, like, that's got to be like Ridgewood and Bushwick. It's like right there. Like, the dark side is Bushwick, Ridgewood is the light side. I mean, I'm not sure the temperature does fluctuate. I'm pretty sure, but, like, how much more, like... We're I mean, already at, like, freezing, like, fucking everything. And they already sent some shit to Mars. Do you know, do you know... If, okay, let me ask you this. Is Mars closer to the sun or farther away? No, no, don't look this up. Don't look this it's up. It's closer because it's hot as hell over there. Isn't it? Isn't it Mars hot? It's actually after Earth. I didn't know this. Really? But why is it so hot, then, over there? It's not hot. It's not? It's That's actually just... really cold. Really? They be lying. I don't know if niggas be lying. I think it's the Mandela effect or something. I thought the same thing. If you look it up, it's literally farther away from the sun than the earth is. And I was talking about this with my boys. Like, yo, my son Mo gonna be on Mars selling like solar panels to people. Oh, and he was like, yo, the earth is right. The sun is right there. And I was like, yeah, I thought the same thing, but it's not. It's farther away. I looked this up. I guess that makes sense. Martians, they talk about Martians and Mars, and usually Martians exist in cold. Yeah, in cold. No, but I thought it was so close to the sun. I thought yeah. it was like right before Earth. I thought it was before Earth, if anything. But it's sun, Mercury, Venus. Uh, I forgot. Do you know the four? Do you know the, the planet? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, yeah, Earth, Mars, Jupiter. Saturn is. One of them got like eight moons, dog. I think Saturn got like eight moons or something. It's like never dark over there. Jupiter and Saturn, Mars is. I mean, Mar Mars is not far away. What are you talking? It's after Earth. It's after Earth, though. It's it's Mercury, Venus, and then Earth. <laughs> Asteroid belt explained. But yeah, see, no, so that was the, that was the thing. So so they're saying so so yeah. So now that I know that the moon also turns, though, we didn't even yeah, we didn't really get the full lesson on the moon, but like. The moon turns too then. So whatever is the dark side, at some point of the year, that's going to be the light side. Mm -hmm. Mercury, oh, Mercury, Venus, Earth. Mars, Mars. Jupiter. The it's size gets far. crazy. It's really not that. We're. It's not that. It's. Bro, that makes a big difference. difference. That's what I'm saying. It's a for life. 
It, that well, Venus is definitely way closer. Mercury is hot as hell. You're murked. <laughs> In Mercury. <laughs> yeah, you go to Mercury, and you're getting murked over there, bro. Could we live on Venus? No, we can we? Have... No, what? Nah. Jupiter, that's my planet. This is your planet, the sun, Leo. Really? Yeah. I thought it would be like Mars or no, something. No, no, no. Leo is ruled by the sun. I'm ruled by Jupiter. Capricorn is your dad, Saturn. Oh, that's funny because we're right next to each other. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Big ass shits. That ass, we're the two biggest. No, I'm the biggest. <laughs> oh, no, you are the biggest, actually. That yeah, makes sense. The big things come in small packages. <laughs> <laughs> Leos, are, you know what I realize? Leos are usually like not tall. I just realized that. You sure? I Look mean. Look that up, actually. I wonder if somebody has like a. Somebody actually looks this up like by the end of it, like they did like a survey. What, like the zodiac sign heights? Like, uh, what, what is um, casual height? What is the usual height for Leos? I don't even know if Shorty's ever looked this up. They don't even want to know the answer. It's like the Illuminati shit. They don't like. I don't even <laughs> want to know because they already believe into this shit, and they're like, I don't want to look up something that I might not like. The height and weight of lions. What? Nah. Leo six two. Stop the cap. See? Seven. See? No, this is cap. It's a Sagittarius nah. seven, seven yeah. feet. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Niggas okay. like horses walking around like. <laughs> horses are not seven feet. Well, we just stand up. Isn't Sagittarius a horse? It's a horse and a half man. Yeah, is that oh. yeah, is that shit? Yeah. Centaur <laughs> and shit like that. Yeah. Yo, that's interesting. I kind of want to go out into New York City and be like, yo, what's your zodiac sign? And then make a survey and shit and just pull yeah, up. Yeah, that's a dope that's video. That's fucking dope. I might actually do that because I'm actually very interested. And then you could do more part two, part, or part yeah. three. Yeah. That, that could whole, be a whole series. Yeah. I might, I, okay, I'm doing it. Maybe, but yeah, no, nah, I don't actually, know. Well, you know, if everybody's like six feet tall in Leo, I'm unique. Nah, I've usually seen like Leos, I don't, I don't meet tall. I've never met a tall Leo. I've, okay. Every Leo I've met is kind of always it's, taller than me. Like no, but they're not like five nine. I've never met past five, five. nine. You met a five nine Leo? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's not that five nine ain't that tall. I don't know if five nine is that tall. Sagittarius people are usually tall as fuck. Is that true though? Yeah. I met short Sagittarius. No, I know. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, whatever. Um, some shorty got raped at three in the morning. Nice. She's a tourist here. Wow. From St. Louis, the fuck whatever. What are you doing at three in the morning? I don't. You see the thing? Was it the, Brooklyn the, the, or something like Manhattan? <laughs> was uh, it not Queens? Time, a twenty-one-year-old St. Louis tourist in was Times accosted Square? and raped inside a New York City subway station by a man oh, who nah. approached her at a Times Square hub. Oh nah, that's crazy. But do you see what I don't get? I see these stories and I'm like, holy shit. Women got to know, women got to know how to move, bro. You really got to He took know her to move. the end of the platform near the tunnel and raped her. But like, what are you, three in the morning by yourself in New York City, in Times Square? You know that's when all the K2 heads come out, right? Like, why would you do that? If you're not with a group of people, you're by yourself, I'm that's crazy. Sure and you're a tourist. Know. I'm pretty sure she doesn't know, but she should know like three in the you, morning. Bro, if you're going like, to be a tourist. Three in the morning anywhere is like pretty dangerous. <laughs> when the perv walked up and said he showed her around. Bro, tourists, PSA, if you're going to come to New York City, especially (coughs) in Manhattan, do not, (coughs) I repeat, do not, do not take the invite of some random person saying, hey, let me show you around at 3 in the morning in New York City in Times Square. Yeah, New York people don't don't show people around, bro. We don't show no one around. Unless you know somebody. Bro. We don't show people around for nothing. Don't put nobody I'm walking down the street, you're like, oh, what do you, I don't know. I don't know. Like, you... Especially nowadays. Somebody could be like, oh, yeah, what do you, you know? Yeah, especially if you're out of town. I'm not showing you everywhere I go, nigga. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're going to know all the That's spots crazy. you're going to see me at? Like, nah. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. She was taken to Bellevue Hospital. Oh, my goodness. All right, but yeah, that's is that about it? That's about it. All right, bet. All right, so. on ra- almost 50 minutes. Wrapping it almost up. Almost an hour. Wrapping it up. <laughs> I want to give a special thank you. Shout outs to the homie Julian on the blog. You already know. Shout outs for watching us. Shout outs to Louis. Shout outs to Nick. Shout outs to all the homies that be watching us. I appreciate y'all, man. It means a lot. And um, yeah, and that's about it. We're going to keep doing more of this. 
And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. And this was episode number 57. 57. Yeah, 57. 57. <laughs> and that's a wrap. And we're out.